Uh, welcome back to Green Country Baits. Today we're going to be doing a painting session. Uh, this is going to be a brand new pattern. Uh, I've not painted this pattern. Good friend of my, uh, good friend of mine, has got a swim bait company. He sent me some of these swim baits, and man, have I been catching the fish uh, around boat docks and different places. So we thought it'd be a good idea, and he's actually given me his particular recipe for how he paints this. Now we're going to put that on some king shad bodies. Uh, some old fat free sheds, a rock crawler, and a little john. And we're gonna go out and test that and see if it's just a specific bait deal or whether it's a color deal. And uh, so stay tuned after the intro, we're gonna spray some paint. If you're brand new to the channel, uh, I'm Jeff, painter and creator of Green Country Custom Baits. Learning how to custom paint your own lures, DIY, pro product reviews for many things in the fishing industry, especially for custom painting, then consider subscribing. We put videos out every Saturday, so subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you can get uh, all those timely updates so when we post a video, uh, you don't miss out on anything in particular. Okay, so we're gonna start on this king shed and our, we've already got our base coat of white down, just our typical uh, wicked white. Next up, we're gonna do with a pearl silver. I've got loaded in my airbrush and we're gonna completely cover the bait. May take two coats. We want a good, uh, we want a good solid coat of that silver. So real quick, just shooting at About 38 to 40 pounds. And by the way, I'm shooting with uh, my GoPro in a different position today. It's on my head, so if I fall it around, it looks like shit. Please let me know. Quick heat set. We're gonna see what kind of silver look we got on this white. And we got pretty bright lights, so it's kind of hard to tell, but we've got a good looking silver, but we want to darken that a little bit more. Again, just spraying even coats. And I have thinned this pearl silver down a little bit, so. Yeah, going back to the GoPro, I mean, I've had several comments from, from different viewers that, you know, it'd be better to be from a, the angle a little bit above. So we're going to try this out. And if you don't like it, leave me a comment. Tell me what we can do better. Maybe I need a fixed mount. To... One thing I don't like about this head is every time I turn somewhere, it's going to be looking that way. So. Okay, I'm liking the silver now. This is coat three. A good light dusting this time. Follow that with heat set again. And really probably didn't have to heat set this one because I'm kind of going to follow that up with a uh, with a purple. And at the end, uh, I'll show you every single color uh, that uh, I've put in this bait. A lot of different ways to do this line. And uh, the one I'm gonna do today, and we wanna reduce our pressure here. We're gonna cut it back to about 15. Let's see if we're still playing. And I'm just gonna do a, I don't, I want a real faded edge. Uh, I'm just gonna follow the lateral line. Again, starting with blowing pressure. Come back on this side, same thing, start blowing air, then paint. So we 
we've got our purple lateral line. We're going to uh, come back and we're going to go real light with a little bit of black down the back. We're going to dust the gill flap there a little bit and a little bit on the tail with our black. Okay, so we want to go real light on the black back. Ooh, we've got to reduce pressure. Change colors out. I'm going to go back down to about 25 on this. Okay, then we want we want some gold on the gill. Gold on that tail. Now I'm going to reduce my pressure even more and we're going to do a light dusting of the black on the gill plate. Just a fog, just to kind of darken that up a little bit around the eye. Back's looking good. I'm gonna go over it one more time, especially up around the head. And basically this is our shad color. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over it with a candy purple very much and, and really thin it out with a lot of uh, 4011 reducer. Uh, or some transparent base possibly and uh, just kind of give the bait an overall dusting okay and that'll be the last step uh, and this particular pattern is there and I'm telling you I have been doing exceptionally well in these clear water situations summertime around docks around brush piles uh, up above them uh, again with swim baits uh, soft plastic swim baits uh, so we're going to try some some uh, strike these three uh, these king sheds. We're going to try these other crankbaits that we're painting here at the same time. So uh, I think it's going to be a tremendous pattern, and I think it's a color deal. Obviously, that swim bait's very realistic that I've been throwing, but I think the color these smallmouth really like this uh, this silver with uh, purple. I think that's a, that's a, that's a deal. So. Anyway, we'll let you know. We'll shoot some video of this when we get when we get uh, out there and get hooked up with some bass. So let's uh, let's dust this with the final color, and we'll be finished up. Okay, for our last um, color here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna just dust. We've put a candy purple, uh, preferably iridescent purple, but completely out of it uh, so I'm gonna try candy purple on this particular pattern until that comes in but we just want to lightly dust that black and the entire bait with that purple just a dusting there we go uh, it's not even gonna be that visible to the naked eye until we get a clear coat so in ending this video, I'm going to show you every single color that I use to get this combination. And I also need help in naming this pattern. Uh, what would you name it? Okay, Th be thinking about that. Uh, so for our black, we used a Pearl Black 0300 by Wicked. For our uh, purple sides, we just used an Opaque Creatix Purple. For our dusting, let me get it out here. For our dusting, we used Candy Pigment by Auto Air. And again, it is just candy purple. Uh, for gold, on our gill plates and our just a little bit of highlights on the tail. Again, just our basic Createx line, pearl, gold. And for our over our base coat our initial silver color was just a pearlized silver in the basic Koreatex line so that's every single color 
Uh, all the techniques involved, really a simple pattern, but a very effective pattern. So uh, please hit the like button, consider subscribing to the channel. Uh, uh, we've had a lot of different patterns coming out, a lot of different shad patterns here. So we're gonna stick with them a little bit longer through the summer months and we'll get back to our crawl patterns here in the near future. Uh, but until the next time, Green Country Custom Baits, signing out.